Right, Psalm 150, here we go. Last one in the book, wonderfully exhilarating. And we're gonna leave off the Gloria because the final thing is let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And there's no answer to that. It's just completely conclusive. Here we go. find it difficult in this one to get choirs not to do praise him in his noble or but praise him in the sound of the trumpet so and I found that the best way of doing it is to ask people to spend longer on praise so it's praise him in the sound of the trumpet and Praise him upon the well-tuned cymbals. And then you go, praise him upon the well-tuned cymbals. Praise him in the sound of the trumpet. Um, praise him in his noble acts. And then that really means something, okay? So let's go right from the beginning once again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> be getting too much bass again um, in some of those okay so just back to what you did after after we got the balance right last time okay uh, carrying on praise him in the sound of praise him in the sound of the trumpet and listen to what Mark's doing in praise him in the sound of the trumpet here we go slightly the lengthening it's not loud it's lengthened praise him in the symbols and praise him upon the well to spend time there and then greatness greatness when there is a two syllable thing at the end of a phrase followed by a consonant we make it metrical greatness like that and then the s comes automatic greatness loud soft Dum, dum. Okay, so let's go um, trumpet, similarly. Praise him in the sound of the trump. But have, just take time over the word praise. Here we go. Praise him in the sound of the trumpet. Praise him upon the wooden So you hesitated a bit before the bar line. Praise him upon, praise him upon. We, upon, up, it's one of those short English words that praise him upon the... Okay, here we go. Verse 3. Praise him in the sound of the trumpet. Good. Praise him upon the rules and harp. Praise him in the symbols and dances. Praise him upon the streets and fire. Praise him upon the world's rules symbols. Can I hear? Symbols. Go. Symbols. Symbols. Loud symbols. Okay, go. Symbols. How are you doing the harp? I'm going to um, just go. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. We like that. Would you like one or two more of us? To do? Let, let's do it. Okay, verse, verse, um, uh, verse three. Everybody just to go. Okay, here we praise him in the sound of the trumpet. And go. Praise him in the sound of the trumpet. Praise him upon the roots and hearts. Praise him in the symbols and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipes. Praise him upon the strings and pipes. Brothers only go. Praise him upon the strings and pipes. No, no. 
Strings him upon the strings and pipe. This is the other half of the thing, you see. So oh, just when you'd solve the first half, then the, then it's the, oh, it must be so confusing for you. Okay, let's have sopranos only. Um, uh, let's have verses three and four. Praise him. Uh, verse three and four, sopranos only. Go. Praise him in the song on the trumpet. Excellent, good, okay. Everybody, verses five and six. Here we go. Praise the Lord, praise the cymbals. Oh, no, 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 please, praise cymbals. Cymbals, praise him upon the well-tuned cymbals. Go. Praise him upon the well-tuned cymbals. Praise him. Three beats on it, really. Praise if you're a soprano. Okay, here we go. Praise <laughs> it's your turn to be confused. Lowry's now going. <laughs> Three, right? One, two, and then right, right. Pray. Let's um verse six. L let everything that has breath and go. Let everything that has Sure, we all have the same vowel sound. Lord, Lord, um, height at the back of your mouth. Lord, tongue down. Lord, it's a good noise that. Lord, and then can we have a voiced D? Okay, uh, verse six once again. Let everything. Uh, I heard a couple of let everything. Let everything that let everything that hath breath. Let everything that hath breath. Do it again, have the courage to, to sing ahead. Go. Let everything that hath breath. breath. I don't suppose let everything that hath breath. Th, um, I have an image of this piece that when um, I went on in my last year at university, I was at King's Cambridge and we sang with David Wilcox and we went on a tour of Canada, which was absolutely glorious, and we sang this often. And I remember, I remember processing round with the choir at the end of the recital. We did this at the end of the recital, the conclusive thing, processing round. And I remember vividly going past a pew with a, a lady and her son or something and a couple of others, clearly a family, and the lady was there and the choir processed past them as we were seeing this and she burst into tears in front of us. She went <laughs> <laughs> And I always remember that because it's so moving, the blaze of sound, this chant and, and the, this chant with these sort of conclusive, nothing else to say except let's sing. Is, is very moving. Anyway, good, let's do the whole thing now. Shall we sing, sing the whole thing all the way through? Okay, and please remember to praise him in his, okay, or praise him in the sound. Take time over praise and then go da 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 da. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. 